People ask me why on top of a daily radio show and a daily nightly news show that I do six days a week, why do I do these videos from home in the last year or so and why do I do them more and more? It's really simple. We're getting down to the wire here. Tyranny is out in the open. The destruction of our basic liberties, the overthrow of our republic and basic protections and checks and balances is in overdrive right now. And the good news is finally people are starting to wake up, but they have no idea on average just how serious our straits are. Now, there's a good side to that and there's a bad side to that. Because the ruling class are so openly criminal and sloppy and out of control, it should be easy to wake people up fully and to bring these crooks to justice. People should realize we've got a completely illegitimate global government structure and the United States is one of the main hearts to it all. And only by fully awakening can we turn things around. But I'm calling this video the you-know-what has already hit the fan because it's getting ready to hit it a lot worse. How many things that I've talked about in the last 17 years on air have now come true? Because I had the government documents. Sure, it was shocking information. People didn't want to check the documents. They just wanted to say I was lying. The military has openly been training for at least 20 years to take on the American people. And they've been training to do it during an economic collapse caused by derivatives. The globalists have planned all of this. Now they're admitting that they're getting ready for civil unrest. Now they're admitting that they're gearing up for all this, but claiming it's because they have to because everything's so screwed up. It's all been planned out. The documents are all there. I've made films for 15 years going over every facet of it since 1997 in films. It's here. But they've incrementally, like the frog in the pot, trained us to accept this garbage. Now, I want to go over here a list of things that I just scribbled down. And this is only the tip of the iceberg. And then I'm going to get to this ammo ban of all handgun and most rifle cartridges, NRA. Oh, yeah, this is just breaking. But first, I've scribbled just in about a minute and a half before I shoot this video. There's a lot more than just this is my point. Some of the things we're facing that prove we have a criminal out of control government. NDAA saying they can secretly arrest citizens, kill us, torture us, use the military on us. No more denial, it's out in the open. Everybody's freaking out by military drills around the United States, by troops admitting they're being trained to take our guns on a national scale, not just in Katrina. Urban warfare drills, people are seeing the tanks painted up green for inside the U.S., the military's admitting it. Troop movements are freaking people out. Yeah! The criminal banks took us over. And now the next phase is total implosion. We're in a depression. NDAA, fast and furious, government caught staging false flag terror attacks against the American people as a pretext to go off the Second Amendment and getting caught in their own memos admitting it. Nobody gets in trouble. Insider trading by Congress. Congress gets caught insider trading. What do they do? They just come out and say, well, we're allowed to even though they're not allowed to. Just like government when it got caught spying on American citizens without warrants said, well, we're allowed to. It's a bunch of crooks robbing everything, setting up a police state to protect themselves from the public. It's criminals setting up a police state. That's what tyranny is. Well, I've gotten through two of them. Um, we've got the torture going on, uh, all of that. We've got the lies about WMDs, uh, all the wars. And we've got the banker bailouts that are really giant taxes to the globalists. You've got the mega banks that are basically exempt from taxes and then use that to try to tax the middle class, telling the poor, oh, the rich are exempt, and then, and then baiting and switching it on to the middle class so they can steal that money for more bailouts. And we've got the biggest prison population in the world. It's now up to 6 million, bigger than China, you name it. The caging of America is what the New Yorker magazine calls it. We've got uh, the gun grabs, the demonization of the Second Amendment going on everywhere, telescreens going up in public places saying, spy on your neighbors, the TSA lying about radiation from the scanners, sticking their hands down people's pants, robbing the general public, now setting up highway checkpoints, violating the Fourth and Tenth Amendment. We've got the feds caught over and over again drug dealing all over the United States and worldwide. The troops 
speak out against it, so they just put it on the news that they're allowed to grow the opium and ship it into the U.S. They just put that on the news. They're just throwing it in your face. Uh, giant urban drills I mentioned, nothing new but just expanding. Web censorship now being announced. Google and others all announcing they'll use all your data and you have no privacy after promising you had privacy. Uh, global government openly being announced by the big private mega banks. Offshoring of jobs, tax incentives to move jobs in factories offshore and using bailouts for General Motors, General Electric, who are all tax free to move overseas. It just goes on and on and on. Uh, the forced inoculations now starting in California and other parts of the country without parental consent. Totally criminal. GMOs designed to sterilize us on records and, and thousands of studies coming out proving it. Uh, it just goes on and on. Giant election fraud that they've caught the globalists involved in all over the United States. Insiders coming out, blowing the whistle, electronic voting machines, total fraud. And I haven't even covered the tip of the iceberg. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a Bill of Rights and a Constitution as checks and balances because the founders knew you couldn't trust the elite to just be good boys. They'd always use crises or fake wars. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the system is coming out and going after our Second Amendment and raising all of these taxes on the general public. Here's the NRA. New Jersey Assembly Committee to consider ammo ban and more. And I actually read the bill, and here's the bill numbers listed right here. Assembly Bill 588, Assembly Bill 1013. Openly bans all handgun ammo and most rifle ammo. Has even got language about BB guns and pellet guns, saying guns threaten law enforcement, so they've got to be banned. And because they can't ban guns, they're just going to ban the bullets, which is like banning gasoline, which is essentially banning cars. It's the same thing. Here it is. We've got the articles at Infowars.com, a full breakdown on it. Again, quit thinking it can't happen here. It is happening here. In fact, uh, everybody's freaking out over tank columns on trains, in some cases upwards of 500 armored vehicles, Bradleys, Abrams, you name it, painted up green. The troops are uh, telling myself and others. Uh, on record uh, and, and, and off record. It's part of Brigade Homeland for the American people. Got another report right here uh, that I'll um, show you. I mean, this is just getting so completely out of control and absolutely off the charts, insane, in everyone's face. And it's just never ending. I'm trying to find that article that I had here uh, from New Yorker magazine. It's, 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 look, it's just coming at people from so many angles. But instead, the public is all saying, oh, my God, is it for the American people? Is it for the American people that all these tanks and all these troop deployments? It's admitted that it's for you. It's admitted that all of this has been set up for you. It's not even debatable. But you won't look at the facts. You'll just say, oh, I saw a bunch of tanks. I saw a bunch of helicopters. My cousin told me it's for the American people. So it remains a rumor. It is not a rumor. It is not a rumor. Here's Fox News. They'll inoculate your kids, not just for HPV, but other shots without even telling you. Just, just totally criminal. Now, here's another one. Governments worldwide raise acceptable radiation levels based upon politics. It started in the U.S. last year with uh, Fukushima. All of this is going on. And this is what is starting to drive me completely insane, is because all of this is naked. All of this is in our face. All of this is happening. And you better warn everyone you know. We have checks and balances. The government can vote away the Bill of Rights and Constitution, but it's null and void. Marbury versus Madison. You can't legalize tyranny. Get the word out to everybody that criminal interests have taken the government over and we're all in danger. Please get this out to everyone. It's ridiculous how many crimes they're committing against us. Restore the Republic. Restore the Constitution. And that starts by discrediting the crooks that have hijacked the nation. They're illegitimate.